Let's go hit him in the noggin. And immediately staggered. Let's hit him in the head. Oh, activate your lantern. Okay. This guy's not having a good time. How's it going, everyone? Exploit here. Welcome back to another video. Before we get started on the video, guys, F's in the chat for the mustache. It's been a long day without you, my friend. All right, yeah, mustache is gone. Anyways, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna go over how to defeat Razorwing Careback super easily. I'm gonna show you, like I always do, my build, and also I'm gonna go over the body parts, what uh, loot drops from each body part, uh, his attack patterns, and everything in between, really. So let's not waste any time, and let's go right ahead with the famous Bumblebee Careback build. All right, here we have the infamous Karabak hunting bumblebee build. All right, guys, so Karabak is one of the fastest behemoths in the game. He's a flying type behemoth. He's really, really fast. He does a, several different types of moves. Um, we're actually just going to focus on two moves that he does. I'll explain in a little bit. But for now, let's go over the build. So we're not doing anything defensive, guys. I know some people might be like, oh, he's really tough. He's really fast. I can't catch up to him. I got to use chain blades or repeaters or something. You can use those, but I'm going to go straight up hammer because because this weapon is the easiest to interrupt and since he charges at you so fast the interrupt time is very short so the hammers are just a quick little hit and he'll go flying across the map and then we can go do damage against him but here is my build obviously there are some things I have to level up um, I just wanted to get the perfect um, six cell plus six build I'll explain it right now okay so my weapon of choice is the thundering maul now, you can use the Thundering Maul, or you can also use the Drask Hammer because they have the same perks. All right, Thundering Maul. This is why I am grabbing it. There are two attack moves that the um, Karabak does. One of them is he'll jump into the air and try to slam down with his claws, and he'll get stuck on the ground for a little bit trying to pry himself out. He also does this pretty weird move where he just digs his butt onto the ground and just like spews out his brood. I don't know what the heck he's doing, but there's a ton of mosquitoes on you. Well, in those two moves, there is a nice little window where you can do damage. So with this build, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the dome piece. That's right. We're going to hit him straight in the noggin. So Thundering Maul, we have this little perk, 25% damage versus Behemoth Heads. So the Careback is going to get his head smashed. Smash the like button, by the way. So obviously, you want the build to be plus six on everything so at least get your weapons and armor to plus 10 i don't have them because i've had to level up every single piece of armor in order to make content so nothing's leveled up damn it all right well anyways we have concussed salvo to uh do the interrupts against the carabac we have impulse crown another little thing for the noggin so if you see here, Impulse Crown, Aerial Strike grants increased damage dealt for 10 seconds. Bonus is doubled if Behemoth's head is struck. So we're just going to plow this guy's head into the ground. Into his body. Into his butt. Like all the way. All right. We have ourselves plus three overpower, plus three Iceborne cell. Okay, we're going to go with a little bit of Iceborne because if he does manage to hit us because he's so fast, if we get below 50%, we have a chance to do the whole life steal and all that jump mumbo jumbo Iceborne cell way to go. All right. All right, help play cask. I always have this on. This helmet's OP. We have plus two Rage Hunter and plus three Predator cell. Now, with the Predator cells, you got to make sure that you don't get hit. Now, this guy is really, really fast. So what we're going to focus on is this. Whenever he does the move where he gets his claw stuck onto the ground, we're gonna try our hardest to stagger him okay when he's staggered we have that certain amount of window where he doesn't attack us hopefully that'll activate the predator perk allowing us to do increased damage to the noggin when we are just absolutely hammering him into the ground should not do that this costs a lot of money okay next up mantle of the rift just for the conduit get a little bit faster on the hammer okay nasher grips plus 10 i got a plus 10 nasher guys nasher stuff is really good okay you don't have to go full elemental on everything use the nasher gr gloves grubs use the nasher grips okay they're awesome so for this i have plus three rage hunter as well as plus three overpowered cell boreal march oh yes 
the infamous Boreer Skier. As you can see, I only have a plus one Iceborne cell and it's only plus five because I hate Boreas. Worst behemoth in the game. Because you got those little fatties that just puff up and explode into your face. And then finally, we have Drask Eye. We're going to do a little bit of extra damage with these lightning bolts against Terra Behemoths. So the insta thing is deal 30% increased damage for 6 seconds. So listen up for the perk summary. We have plus 6 overpower. So we're doing a 70% damage increase to staggered behemoths. Okay. So our game plan. This is what we really need to focus on. Okay. Interrupt him when he charges at you. Deal damage with empowered shots from your hammer or axe. Within that time, your predator cell should activate because you have that certain amount of time before he charges at you. And then you have that time after he's interrupted. Then you have that time, hopefully, that you stagger him. And then the time after the stagger, it should be about like 40 seconds. So you'll hit that 15 second window. Do you understand what the words that are coming out of my mouth? All right, so we got those two. And then plus five, etheric attunement. We'll get that to plus six, okay? We'll have a plus 50% lantern charge from attacks. That will let us activate Draskai more and more often, dealing 30% increased damage for six seconds more often. And we're gonna use the lantern either when we interrupt or we stagger him or he has his claws into the ground or he has his butt into the ground and we are just smashing, uh, sorry. We are smashing his head into oblivion. Plus five conduit, just speeding up a little bit of attack speed like I mentioned before. Rage Hunter, okay, so if this guy goes invisible which he can do if we're able to interrupt him and he's still in rage we are going to absolutely plow his butt his head we're going for his head we're going to plow his head into the ground and then again i have iceborne guys so all of these will be plus six it's going to be a perfect six plus six build i'm telling you the the bumblebee king that's 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 your name bumblebee king Guys, and then for our tonics, we are going to do this. We are going to do an assault tonic for increased stagger damage. Okay, I only have one. I have to go farm for materials because I, I can't even make a freaking uh, milkshake. I have nothing. And then we're going to do the ether drive tonic, okay, for the 100% increase lantern regen. So we're really going to activate our draft lantern over and over for that added 30 percent damage and then you can either do stamina tonic if you are using a hammer or an axe just heavy weapons um if you're not then i would suggest doing like a frenzy tonic or something that increases attack speed this is our bumblebee build if you want take a screenshot uh, i mean you can just pause the video pause the video before we start the hunt, like always, check in the description. Join the Discord. We have over a thousand, I think close to a thousand one hundred members now. It's getting crazy. It, I have to update the Discord. I will update it. There's too many channels going on, but it's insane. Everyone in there is awesome, so please join. Also, the giveaway, make sure you do that and like the video. And if you're new, subscribe, please. For the love of everything Dauntless, just subscribe. Just, just, just do it. Do it. Do it. Subscribe. All right, guys, before we jump in really, really quick, you can have an alternative to the Iceborne. The Carabag has this thing where he can absolutely cripple you and wound you. And if you lose stamina, you will lose a lot of health. So if you want, switch the Iceborne cell out and put Bloodless cell. Okay, so we can do this. And also with our um, boots, instead of Boreal March, you can swap this out with the Shrike Down Greaves because it has Bloodless perk added onto it. Another thing we can do is maybe swap out Pillars of Stone and go with the other plus three Bloodless. So let's do this instead. Yes. Okay. So I'm actually going to swap this out, guys. Well, at least now we don't have to worry about the wounded status that he does from his attacks. So really, he's going to be pretty easy to kill. Let's just go for the head and smash him. Damn. I'm not hitting my mic again. Again, make sure to activate your lantern since you only have six seconds. Do it when you are about to hit him in the head repeatedly. Let's go hit him in the noggin. And immediately staggered. Let's hit him in the head. Oh, activate your lantern. Okay, this guy's not having a good time. Jump! Yes! That one does a lot of damage right there. Because we have that uh, jump thingy. Okay. 
Okay, can you get your swarm out of here? You son of a gun. Oh gosh. Okay, he hit me once. It's okay. There he goes. He's gonna do that charge attack. Get off of me! Get off of me. Okay, here we go. He'll charge me now, I think. Nope, raise the leaves. All right, he... Ah, I should have interrupted him there. It's okay, we're good. There it is. Let's go finish him off right now, boys, huh? You, you landed so far away, my dude. Jump attack to stagger. Yes. Activate your whatever you have on your lantern. Okay. Come here, you. I'm not done with you. What are you doing? Ah! Oh my god, that did so much. Ah! Shock you. Right in the face. Alright, we're good. We're good. He's like dancing or whatever. Hiya! Okay, we're fine. Let's reload our hammer. Can you not? Yeah, we're fine. Kia! 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 Alright, I think we should be able to kill him now. Activate your lantern. Why aren't you dead yet? Oh no. No, he ran away! That son of a gun! I wanted to end him right now! Kid, can you get your children off of me? Off! Get off! Get off! Oh my gosh, alright. Well, that was the first phase, and that was super easy. I'm pretty sure he's almost dead. Let's reload this. And let's go activate our tonics. And completely end his life. This should be a quick battle, guys. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, well. Boom. Oh, you're almost staggered. Come here, you. Okay, that's rude. Hold on, I gotta reload my hammer. Oh! <laughs> Rude. Can you stay still? Right in the head. There we go. Reload our hammer really quick. Yeah! I can't hit him from up there. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I will get. I will hit you. He's so fast. Come here, you. All right, Bulbasaur. Ha! Huh. Oh. Ha! Huh. Okay. Well, like I said, you probably shouldn't attack him when he's uh, trying to speed. But I just want to finish him. As charge me, charge me, charge me. Ha 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 ha! Come here, boy! Goodbye. Alright, there it is. We did it, guys. Yay! S plus ranking, 5 minutes, 26 seconds. Uh, we could have done it faster. We got hit a couple times. Uh, we missed a couple staggers and interrupts. But guys, I mean... That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the build that you want to use against the Razorwing Karabakh. Again, you can use either Iceborne or you can switch it up and do the Bloodless Cells like I did. Uh, I switched up my boots, I think, so I didn't have plus six Predator, which probably would have let me beat him faster. All right, guys, that'll do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this build, if you enjoyed the video, like the video and make sure to tell all your friends, including your family about me like tell them to subscribe right now i need it please give me a hundred thousand subscribers and millions of likes